Hi guys, welcome to another studio vlog. I'm really excited to get back to recording regular weekly videos after the summer's over. I can't believe summer's over. I'm going to start with making some breakfast, my favorite oatmeal, and some iced tea. I think I'm always the most excited for breakfast because it means I get to start my day with eating something really yummy and I'm just getting recharged before I start work. I'm waiting for my matcha to come in the mail so for now I'm just having some uh, peppermint iced tea. It's one of my favorites. So refreshing and I love the Trader Joe's brand for this one My best friend also got me this cup so every time I use it it makes me really happy Now I'll make my all-time favorite blueberry and banana oatmeal I can't start the morning without this. If you're interested for the recipe, I'll link it down in my description box. It's super easy to make and takes maybe only like 10 minutes in the morning. Another reason I love cooking is actually my little plates and cups and things. <laughs> I love little kitchen gadgets, so I love using my favorite plates, and this one's also from one of my other close friends. I love eating breakfast by the window um, because I love to get my, or need to get, my vitamin D. Um, I wish I don't get enough of but it's really nice just watching birds or just looking outside at the trees and it's a really nice mental way to start my day and clear my head before I start any work. What are your favorite morning rituals? Leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Hey guys, I'm finally back in Baltimore um, in my apartment. I really missed being here. Um, but this summer was filled with um, just spending time with family and getting some things done. So um, I don't regret it at all. And I'm just really happy to be back in my studio and um, be able to create here again. Um, so the agenda for now is just to get back into the swing of things. I am preparing for a shop update. Um, so I've been making some new prints and I wanted to show you one that I just finished yesterday. Yay! So this is Choco. Choco is my new little black cat in my character series and Choco loves matcha, reading, and nature just like me. It sort of embodies all the things that I love. Um, and Choco's a cool cat, so that's why he has sunglasses. Um, but the print will come in this um, 4x6 size. And this was hand painted with gouache. Um, with these new gouache packs that I got. So I found this really beautiful um, Holbein gouache pack by Rebecca Green. And there are all of these colors. 12 colors in the pack. And... This gouache pot is the one that I showed in my previous video um, and I've used a combination of both to create my print. I'm just waiting for my Canon scanner to get here so I can scan it and mass produce all the prints. But yeah, so far I am really excited to 
share this one with you guys and have it available on my shop. Um, so for today, I'll be painting some more and also just working on packing a lot of Patreon orders and shop orders. So I hope you enjoy. I like to start my studio day with getting Patreon things done first um, just because it is a monthly subscription and I like to get them out to my patrons. Um, thank you so much to all who are watching right now. And this is my sticker sheet for last month's stickers and I will be sending this out very soon. Painting has been one of my recent favorite ways to create, especially with the Holbein acrylic gouaches that I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to take you through the process of how I painted one of my upcoming prints for my shop update. Feel free to join me if you want to also create something on your own. Um, this will be a really nice and relaxing time just to get some ideas out on paper. So yeah, I'd love you for you to join me. I wanted to give a bit of a backstory on the inspiration for this print so um, you'll actually see it come together over time but I am painting a sort of zen garden. One of my best friends, Katie, um, was helping me through an art block that I had for quite a while and she requested for me to make more of nature landscape prints. Um, which is a bit of a challenge for me because even drawing small things like grass or trees um, I need more practice with so I thought it'd be a really good challenge for me as an artist to tackle something that I don't usually draw so this is my rendition of a zen um, garden pond and it also features choco in the back um, which you'll see later in the process but I loved this whole process of painting this print. It's a bit of a bigger print that I'm used to as well and I liked actually the bigger canvas space.
Let's pack some orders. This is my new business card that I showed before, and I'm also going to be unboxing a new stamp. I wanted to revamp my branding for the longest time, and this finally came in the mail. I'm so excited to open this. This is from the brand No Issue. Um, just disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by them, but I've ordered from them before and I absolutely love their products and I wanted to do a little small stamp this time um, just to put my logo on all my orders. This is the one inch by one inch stamp and I think it's the perfect size. I was um, expecting it to be too small, but I honestly really love how small it is. packing orders for you guys because it feels like packing up a little gift for a friend so I love putting a lot of care and thought into each one. Um, this one has my nap time print and the little router sticker and this is going to be a smaller order so I'll put it in these recyclable cellophane bags. 
I realized after I put the washi tape on that I did forget to put my business card inside so I'll just put it back in really quickly. It's always exciting to use a new product for the first time. Um, I am really um, looking forward to seeing how this turns out. This exceeded all of my expectations. The lines are so clean and crisp, so I am more than happy with how this looks on my um, products. Putting it in my bubble wrap mailer is the final step just to keep everything safe. If anyone is interested in what materials I use for my shop, just feel free to leave a comment and I can add it um, in the description box for whoever's interested. finish packing the orders that I have for today and that will be the end of my work day. Um, this is one of my favorite processes so I hope you enjoy watching the rest of um, the order packing.
I'm so thankful for the location of my apartment because it's right next to a USPS store which makes it perfect for a small business owner like me so I'll just pack these up and take these over to the mill. As always, thank you so so much for watching and joining me again this week and I will be posting regularly every week from now on so I really hope to see you next time. Thanks so much!